guys, it's Lexi. I hope you're all having an awesome day. I am sharing the Zape Holiday Collection. So I picked up a pretty good amount of stuff. I have about half body care, half wax, I would say for this haul, which I'm super excited about. I loved some scents that were offered last year that I'm very happy I was able to get my hands on this year. Um, and there were also some favorites in the wax category that I just could not live without. So I'm gonna talk through everything. This is gonna be a probably pretty lengthy haul. So like I mentioned in my last video, if you guys wanna like speed this up a little bit with like the settings, like speed it up because I'm gonna talk to you guys for a while, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, so first things first, before I jump into the actual like collection, like the winter holiday collection, I will say that I did pick up some things that were offered from the spooky collection that I wanted backups of. So let me just really quickly touch on those. I did pick up a backup of the Beetlejuice scent, which is dried leaves, smoky bonfires, and sweet vanilla bean. I ended up melting this scent throughout my living room when I had a Halloween party, and it was just so amazing. It smelled like Halloween, it really invoked those like spooky feelings. Um, and I really loved the like the performance on this. It was super strong and it lasted for like three days after. So I picked up another backup, although I do have another star. So I just wanted to have this in case it didn't come back last year or next year, because we know that sometimes can happen. Um, I also picked up um, a clamshell of apple picking or apple picking. And this is orchard trees, autumn leaves and freshly picked apples. I would have got a larger size of this, but it was not offered in anything else. It was all sold out besides in the clamshell, but I could not have, I could not be without this scent for next year. This really just smells like apples and like trees, like fresh, like fall trees. Um, it says orchard trees, I guess it's apple trees. It just smells like trees and freshly cut open apples. It's really, really good. Hard to describe, but amazing. And if there's any left of this on the website, I highly recommend this one. And I really hope that this comes back next year also because that one is a winner in my book. And two, I literally like cannot imagine the fall season without. Now, um, first one is Halloween Town. I think this is my favorite like Halloween scent from Zape, possibly. Um, this is Caramel Cider, Autumn Leaves in Haunted Houses. And I'm gonna touch on this scent later in this haul, but there's another scent that was offered in the holiday collection that I'm gonna share that has the caramel cider note in it. And there's something about whatever, I think it must just be a singular oil, like the caramel cider oil that she's used because it smells like the same one that is used in this other scent that I love, which is Tinseltown. Um, but I think it's the same and there's something about the caramel cider that just smells so good, so realistic, so like juicy and like just makes my stomach like gurgle with hunger. It's so good. Um, but yeah, this Halloween town, it just smells like like a spooky Halloween night where you're like out at like waiting in line at like a haunted house and you have like a hot cup of caramel cider. It's so good. I love the scent. Um, mm. I know I'm rambling about Halloween scents, but I love them. I'm so sorry. Um, and then the other one, this is candy corn cake. This scent I bought last year and it was not super strong for me. I bought it in like the cake. It was like um, one of the shapes, like it looked like almost like a cake or like a pie slice shape. Um, it didn't do very well for me last year, but I was sent a sample of this scent this year and it blew my socks off and it smelled incredible. So I wanted to just pick up a scoopable just in case it didn't come back next year, even though I have a feeling this probably probably will i think this is a really popular scent but because of that sample i was like i need it from this year i think it was even stronger and more delicious so i did pick up a backup of candy corn cake and then jumping into the actual um holiday collection itself so it did come with this absolutely beautiful wrapping paper i hope that's not too loud for you guys and as always, I think Ashley does a really nice job of picking out wrapping paper that is like fitting to the collection launch. I, I don't know, I think that that's just like a nice little touch. And I also um, have to mention, it did come with this card, which all the Zape um, shipments are always with this card, at least for me. Um, and it just says, thank you. Um, hey, gorgeous experience happiness through scent. I love that. 
um, and all of the information. As I always do, I will leave in the description below if you guys would like to shop with Zape. I will also say that I do have a um, coupon code. So when you shop, you get $5 off your order and then I also get $5 off an order. Um, that code is available for anyone. Um, it's not like a special, like kind of a code. Anyone, you can have your own and you can send it to friend, your own friends and family. Um, but I'll leave that in the description as well if you guys do want a $5 off code. All right guys, so I'm just gonna jump right into body care. The first body care I'd like to mention is Yuletide Carols. This scent I think was new last year and I did have a, I think it was like a, it wasn't a body butter sugar scrub. I think it was like a whipped soap maybe I had in it last year or like a sugar whip. Um, either way, I did have this scent last year. I finished that bottle up and I absolutely loved it. Um, and this year I ended up picking up a body butter sugar scrub and a body meringue in this. Um, this body meringue, I will say the, the packaging has changed on this. So I'm not sure if it's just because I had a couple like a couple bottles in this form left over and they had like the Yuletide Carol labels still left over that they just used it in this instead of like now that they have like a tub of body meringue, which that I think I would prefer. I haven't picked up a body meringue yet in the new tubs, but I do think that I would prefer in that over this because once you get to the end, and I've talked about this before, but once you get to the end of like the lower half, it's really almost like impossible to squeeze this out, which is probably why she changed it over. So I'm not gonna keep talking about that because there is a new version offered, but yes, I just thought I'd mention this is in the older version of the tub. Anyway, um, <laughs> not rambling, Alexis. This scent um, is incredible. So the scent description reads, sweet and sophisticated vanilla bean mingled with hints of fresh cut Christmas fur. So this pretty much just smells like exactly what the description reads. It is a vanilla bean and a tree scent mixed together. It is like a really, really sweet, like very, it's not super like, it's not bakery vanilla, it's more like a body care vanilla to me. Um, but it's just like a beautiful mix of vanilla and tree. And it's definitely a little bit more, I think it's a little slightly more like fir tree than the vanilla, but it is like beautifully blended. It's just cut in just the right amount, I think. You don't see a lot of body care that's like tree scent based. Um, so this one I love. I think that this is just like the perfect scent for um, like the holiday season, and especially if you aren't the type of person that loves like peppermint scents, and you'll kind of notice this based on my haul. I'm not a huge peppermint lover. I can do it a little bit, which is weird to say because, well, I should say this, in body care, I, I can deal with peppermint, but in, in wax, I'm not a big peppermint fan. I just, I'm just not. It kind of gives me a little bit of a headache sometimes. It can be a little bit too strong for me. Um, but if you are the type of person that doesn't like peppermint at all, but you still want something that smells kind of like festive, I guess, then Yuletide Carols is a fantastic scent. I do think this one is sold out. I don't think that there's gonna be any more like poured or made for this season. If I'm correct, I could be wrong. You might just wanna double check the website just in case. Um, but I think because of the popularity, this maybe will come back. I'm not sure. I feel like there was something on the website that said like maybe the oils are discontinued for this or I, I don't, maybe I'm wrong. Totally. Probably. I'm just guessing right now. Um, I will leave it in the description, like what the little snippet said about this scent, but anyway, fantastic scent. I hope that even if this doesn't exactly come back next year, that some kind of like a recreation of the scent does because it is really, really fantastic. Moving on to a scent that was also offered in wax form. I did not pick this up in wax form like I just said. I'm not huge on mint and there is mint in this, but I thought in body care, I might be able to get behind it. This is Grinch Cookies. So Grinch Cookies is absolutely beautiful like the packaging of this the green has kind of got like a little bit of like iridescence to it and there's like it looks like hot pink kind of like splashes of color throughout um which i think is really cool it kind of reminds me of that um like blood splatter packaging i know it's not <laughs> it's probably a weird thing to say but kind of reminds me of that from the halloween collection the description of grinch cookies is buttery cookies topped with creamy peppermint candies 
So this I picked up in the whipped soap version and I really have been loving her whipped soap and specifically the body butter sugar scrubs. I like to pair them together. There is the sugar whip, which is like a middle ground of abrasiveness. It's kind of like a combination of the body butter sugar scrubs, which are the most abrasive and her whipped soaps, which are the least abrasive. Um, I feel like when I am using these in the shower, I want something to like fully like scrub and like get all the dead skin off not to be gross um and then i also want something to like lather and like shave with so those are like the best two combinations in my opinion that's kind of what i've been using the most of what i finish up the fastest i think um so kind of what i did and i know that this is probably like the weirdest thing to do um but i picked up instead of like matching two cents in like the sugar scrub and the whipped soap i got a, i tried to get as much variety as possible possible because i love variety so i um decided that i would use the yuletide carols sugar scrub with the grinch cookies just because i don't know it's like they're both green I, that's dumb but that's what i'm gonna do and the grinch cookie scent is very minty so the first thing I smell in the body care version of the Grinch cookie scent is that mint. And specifically, it reminds me of like a, kind of, I don't know, just like one of those butter mint kind of mints, like the kind that you get at like, uh, I don't know, like it's like the hotel, like they've got like those little, like butter mints, you guys know what butter mints are, like the kind that they kind of like melt in your mouth. That's what this smells like. If you guys love mint, I'm sure that this would be like a total winner for you. I think it's really nice. I can see the appeal. I'm not sure if this is gonna be like 100% a winner for me. It is just a very buttery, minty, fresh type of scent. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm still up in the air about that, but I know that the people that love mint, I'm sure would love that because it is very minty, very buttery. So moving on, um, I picked up two of the OG classics, which is so funny. Um, I used to be, and I still am not like the biggest fan of um, pink sugar. However, last year I tried Santa Baby, which is a pink sugar buttercream and marsh, or vanilla and marshmallow type of scent. Um, and I also tried Cindy Lou Who, or I got Cindy Lou Who, which is like a peppermint and pink sugar. So the, both of these have pink sugar in them. Um, and can be kind of comparable, but there are a lot of differences. So I'll kind of break it down for you guys. Um, yeah, like I said, I used to not like it, but because of Santa Baby, I actually really enjoyed it last year. And spoiler alert, I did pick up Santa Baby in wax this year again. Um, I did not pick up uh, Cindy Lou Who in wax because peppermint. Um, so scent notes of Santa Baby, like I just said, Santa Baby is... Sweet and sexy, just like Mrs. Claus likes it. Creamy vanilla bean, toasty marshmallow, and sultry pink sugar crystals. And then the scent description of Cindy Lou Who is creamy vanilla bean, peppermint candies, and sweet pink sugar crystals. So both of these scents have a pink sugar and vanilla bean note in them. Um, which pink sugar is just like a very girly, like kind of perfumey type scent. And then vanilla is a, like, of course, just kind of warm, you know, warm things up. But the difference is, is this scent has peppermint and this scent has um, mar toasted marshmallows. So um, if you're asking for like what I prefer, 100% Santa Baby. I think Santa Baby is like the older sister of this scent um a little bit more it's a little bit more i mean it's, it says sexy in the description it kind of does smell like a little sexy it's warm it's i don't know i don't even know <laughs> i'm describing this terribly um it's warm it's sweet it's kind of like girly but it's definitely got a little bit more depth to it and then this scent, because of the peppermint, it's very bright. Um, it is just like a like very sweetened, um, very peppermint heavy dominant scent in um, Cindy Lou Who. So similar, but quite different. And I will say in wax form, these are 
even more different to my nose than smelling them, which everything smells different once you kind of lather up in the shower. But based on just like sniffing the containers, these do smell a little bit more similar. There's definitely so much peppermint in this that it's almost not comparable because of those two pink sugar vanilla notes. I can see why people do compare these. Um, so like if you like peppermint, you'd probably prefer this. If you like a little bit more like sexy, sultry, kind of like warm, deeper, richer, sweet, sweeter kind of scent than Saint Baby. So they're both really nice. Um, I'm excited to use them both in the shower at the same time and kind of like layer those scents. Moving on, I picked up um, Mary and Bright and Snow Angels. And Mary and Bright is the body butter sugar scrub and Snow Angels I picked up in the whipped soap version. So these are just like the, I think these are the prettiest ones out of all of them. And these two scents I actually picked up with the um, New Year and New Year's New Year's month, so January. I picked these up with January in mind because these are both um, not pepperminty, not like overly pepperminty scents or overly like tree type scents. These are kind of more like just sweet um, fruit type scents. So I thought that those would be good to kind of mellow out into the upcoming season. So Snow Angels notes read, creamy vanilla with hints of sweet coconut and fresh cherry sprinkled with powdered sugar and a dash of sweet mint. And this has like this beautiful glitter all throughout. And I will say I'm not a huge fan of glitter, especially in body care. I just, I don't wanna be shimmery usually, but I opened this up and I was like, oh no, glitter is all over it but the glitter is actually only dusted on the outside, like on the inside of the edges of the bottle. It is not on the inside of the actual like body care itself. So unless you go in and you're like mixing it up, you probably won't get a ton of body or er, glitter on your skin, I think. Um, but um, Snow Angels, the scent to me is, oh, I just got my nose. The scent to me, is definitely, I smell like a cherry coconut scent. It is really, really sweet. And I personally think that this is, I think this is my favorite out of all of them. It is a really, really sweet, I don't wanna say it's a tropical coconut scent because it's not, but it's definitely not a toasted baked bakery coconut scent. It's definitely fruitier. It is definitely brighter. It's very like, fresh and sweet. Um, this one I think is my favorite. It is just really, really nice. I do think that this one, however, out of all of the body care scents that I got is the least like quote unquote, like holiday-ish, which totally fine with me, honestly. I think that it is nice to have a scent that, that, that can kind of like push you, like I mentioned, into January and throughout into the spring season. So Snow Angels, beautiful and really, really, I love that smell really, really good. And then Merry and Bright, the scent notes of Merry and Bright read, cheers to the new year with some sparkling cranberry apple champagne. So this one has beautiful packaging as well. It's kind of like sparkly all throughout. And this one just smells like a very, first thing I smell is a very tart cranberry with like a sweetened apple like blend it together. Um, and I do get, something kind of does smell a little bit like champagne-y, um, kind of reminds me of mimosas. Kind of reminds me if you had like a cranberry mimosa, if you guys have ever tried those. That's what this smells like to me. I really like this one. Definitely bright, definitely fruity, a little bit tart, kind of makes my mouth water. Really, really nice. I love that one as well. And I think once again, that will kind of help push me into the next new season and yeah it's really a fantastic scent and then one more thing i forgot to mention i did get a sample of body care in candied citrus in her sugar whip and this scent smells so fruity it is super super citrusy to my nose it is like almost like a freshly squeezed lemon with like some orange zest but like definitely like a candy-ish like there's some candied like a, something that makes it more sweet. Um, but yeah, this one is really, really good and I'm excited to use this. I'm probably gonna try to use this up quickly because it did get cracked and it leaked a little bit, which is like totally fine. I'll just use that up quickly. 
And now jumping right into the wax. So out of all of the scents that were offered, I picked up two things that were repurchases from last year. The first thing, I'm not gonna make you guys wait forever. This is my very, very, very loved scent, Tinseltown. So Tinsel, Tinseltown notes are sweet caramel cider, which I mentioned in that Halloween Town one, um, and fir tree lined streets. I don't know if that means, yeah, okay, so fir tree lined streets. So um, this came in these beautiful little stars and they're like a dual layered red and white and it smells literally like heaven to me. This smells like being outside, surrounded by trees, and you have like a piping hot cup of caramel cider. I just love it. I, I, don't, I don't need to smell it because I know it's incredible, um, but if you guys have not tried this, if there is any forms that this is still available in on their website, like I don't know, clamshells maybe, I think that the scoopables are all sold out, I think the shapes might be sold out, maybe there are some shapes, I could not recommend the scent more. It, it is just like a hot, warm cup of caramel cider and fresh trees outside. And it just smells like Christmas and it smells like warm and just, it is incredible. I literally could not recommend the scent more. So if you love caramely scents, um, this is kind of like a combination of like fall and winter to me because of the caramel cider and the, app and the trees. It just, uh, it's just, it's so good. I could not recommend the scent more. So I had to get a backup of that. I also got a backup of the scent Santa Baby, which I mentioned I do have in body care. This is the same notes. Um, vanilla bean, marshmallow, and pink sugar crystals. I melted this last year throughout my home. And I remember just being like weird. Like I smelled it on cold and I didn't like it because I could smell the pink sugar first and I'm not a pink sugar fan but something about the way that this is blended makes the pink sugar just smell beautiful to me. And usually pink sugar is almost like sickeningly sweet. And you would think because of the vanilla bean and marshmallows that it would make it even like more like sickeningly sweet, but it doesn't. It just does this thing where it just kind of like tones it down and then like warms it up. I don't know, it's just, it's the weirdest thing, but this is like, and I melted this throughout my home, like the floor plan layout, not just in my bedroom or bathroom, but I could see this being the perfect wintertime bedroom scent because it's warm and it's sexy and it's like inviting and it makes you just want to like cuddle up with a good book and like big fluffy pillows like all around you and like fuzzy throw blankets and that's what this makes me think of. So I really, really love this scent. Um, another one that I highly recommend. So on to the new scents that I picked up. So the first one I have here is Christmas Cobbler and this came in like three little coin shapes that are red and green. It is spiced apples, baked peaches, and buttery pie crust. Um, and this one literally just smells like all of those things. It just smells like a very spicy, like cinnamon spiced apple with a little bit of like warm peaches and a, definitely a pie crust. And this smells to me like, like the pie crust my mom would make that was definitely like the flaky, buttery kind, not like the cinnamon, it's not like the graham cracker cinnamon, cinnamon type of pie crust. Um, but it literally smells like exactly what it is. Um, you could melt this any time of year. It just smells like a nice pie. Definitely smells, kind of reminds me a little bit of like what my house growing up smelled like around Thanksgiving, like pies. Um, so this one here I picked up in a clamshell shape just because I have a ton of coffee I'm trying to like, coffee melts I'm trying to use up. My coffee bin is getting packed full. So although I did want to pick up a larger size of this, I thought like tone back Alexis. So this one here is Caramel Praline Latte. And I don't think the scent notes are actually on this one. Um, but to me, this literally just smells like a very like dark roasted coffee with like a hint of caramel. It's not, definitely not overly caramel to my nose. Definitely a deep roasted like coffee. Um, and a lot of like that, I do smell a lot of like nuttiness. It smells really, really nice. Um, yeah, pralines, yeah. So definitely a deep, rich coffee. Um, not too heavy on the caramel. So if you guys are hesitant because of caramel, don't, don't be. Um, one that I will talk about the fact that I was hesitant about getting this one and now I totally regret not getting more because I think it's sold out in all forms. 
This is ginger nog. And ginger nog is creamy eggnog, gingerbread cookies, and vanilla frosting. And I am not usually a big fan of gingerbread scents. I don't, I just don't like ginger. I don't like ginger in food. I don't like ginger in ginger ale. I don't like any ginger. It just kind of like, I don't know, bothers me, the scent. So even like gingerbread cookies, I don't really like them. Um, but I had a, and I should have known better because I had a gingerbread cookie scent last year from Zape and it absolutely blew me away. It was one of my favorite scents. So I should have known that I, I liked Zape's ginger scent, but I, I, I messed up. Um, this scent, because it is the eggnog, which is so good, like so frothy and delicious, mixed with her gingerbread cookies and vanilla frosting, this is a total winner. Honestly, I would say to me, this scent is probably up there with Tinseltown of how amazing this smells. Incredible. I, I so regret not getting more of this scent. It does smell like a super buttery cookie, like a gingerbread kind of cookie, but like, like a heightened version of that. And you're, it's sitting right next to like a hot piping like mug of eggnog. Oh, highly regret not getting more of the scent. This scent is phenomenal. I really hope that she restocks this scent because I'm going to need more and I already know that it smells so good, you guys. Love that one. Um, I have blankets by the fire and this is like in this adorable little um, plaid kind of brittle, but the brittle's huge. Um, it's a dual layer brittle. And this is chunky wool blankets, charred pine and balsam. So I was nervous because the wool blanket scent. Um, but this to my nose, first thing that hits my nose is that charred pine. It is really smoky, um, not smoky, but like you can smell like some charred set, like a charred, like a bit of smokiness. Um, and then it is definitely like a sweetened, a sweetened smoky scent. I think the balsam maybe, or pine is kind of a sweet tree, I think. Um, I don't smell anything that would make me think blankets. Maybe it's like a cashmere note. Maybe. It is definitely a very sweet and slightly smoky, fresh type of scent. Um, fresh, like outdoorsy, fresh type of scent. So I, I do like this a lot, but I feel like this does remind me slightly of another scent from last year that wasn't offered. I'll have to look through my bin. If I can remember what it kind of reminds me of, I'll leave it like below. Um, but yeah, I, I think that this one is a really nice classic, just kind of like, out, like bring the outdoors in type of vibe. Um, let's see, this one here is white Christmas and white Christmas is fir trees balsam. And it says dreaming of a dot, 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 which white Christmas. Um, this one is super, super sweet. So if you took that last scent with the fir trees and the balsam, right? Was there fir trees in this? Oh, charred pine, charred pine and balsam, but there's fir trees and balsam. So this is very outdoorsy, very tree heavy. Um, but the balsam maybe is making it even sweeter. Maybe the fir, it is just so, so it is such a sweet tree scent to me. Um, sometimes I feel like, um, fresh balsam from Bath and Body Works can be a little bit like stringent. I think balsam, by itself can just be a bit sharp on the nose, but maybe the fir trees, because that's also what is in Tinseltown. I've been doing so much like back and forth of like, what is this, what is this? All tree scents are like, they are so hard to detect the differences in tree scents, at least to my nose. But I think that the fir tree is a super sweet tree. And then the balsam's a little bit more like astringent or like sharp. Um, but this is a, a really good, sweet, really sweet outdoorsy tree scent. So I, really, I like it a lot. Um, tree scents always kind of make my mouth water. I don't, it's weird. I don't know you guys. Um, and then finally from the scents that I picked up this year, this is a new one. This is winter wonderland, which is spicy mold cider, roasted chestnuts and snowy winter pine. So I think pine is, I also think pine is a sweet tree. Fir and pine, I think are both sweet and balsam I think can be a little bit sharper. Am I wrong? I don't know. I don't know, birch is a little bit sharp I think too. I don't know you guys. 
Um, so this, to my nose, is definitely very spicy. The first thing I smell is like the spiciness of the cider, and then I do get a creaminess. It's like spicy, toned back down with the creaminess of like the chestnuts. And then I, I can definitely smell like a tree scent in the background. But I feel like you have to be okay with spicy scents because the first thing I smell is definitely that spicy, spicy cider. Um, so if you're looking for like a good spicy tree scent, then this is Winter Wonderland, I, I would say is a good one for that. It is um, White Christmas, Ginger Nog, and Tinseltown, I, I think are the top three like must haves for me. And then um, there are also four scents that I didn't pick up this year that were offered last year that I still have um, that were offered again this year that I just didn't pick up. So I'll mention those in case any of these are still available and you guys are curious. So this is Bad Santa and this is Fireplace Embers, Christmas Trees and Cinnamon Sticks. And to my nose, the first thing I smell is the cinnamon sticks and kind of like that warmth maybe of like the embers. It's not overly, sm it's definitely not a smoky scent. It's just kind of like a warm kind of spicy cinnamon type scent. So this one I mentioned when I hauled it last year kind of reminds me a little bit and I think it is um, Tis the Season from Bath and Body Works. I could be wrong. If, if I'm wrong, I'll like re write it down below. Um, but this is just like a really spicy, not like spicy, red hot spicy. It's like a sweetened, warm kind of spicy cinnamon scent. I do get some Christmas trees, but it's not like a tree first scent, I don't think. So that's Bad Santa. So Elf Cookie's the next one. This is Sugar Cookie Dough, Almond Macarons, Vanilla Bean, Vanilla Buttercream Frosting. And this one to my nose is just like a very classic like almond cookie scent. It's not um, a cherry almond, it's a nutty almond, and it's definitely like sweetened up with the buttercream scent, but just like a nice standard cookie scent. This one here is Sleigh Ride, and this one is marshmallows, peppermint, and pine trees. First thing I, I smell on this is the peppermints. It is a very strong, punch you in the face peppermint scent. Um, if you love peppermint and you want a very like classic peppermint pine tree type scent or like tree pop peppermint, this is the good, a good one to go for. The marshmallow, I think, just tones it, like cuts it down a little bit because I feel like pine trees and peppermint can be so sharp. Um, but this is still pretty heavy on those. So that is Sleigh Ride. And then I have Under the Mistletoe. And scent notes on this are mistletoe berries and Christmas smooches. I have no idea what Christmas smooches means. Um, but I feel like this is a very outdoorsy tree scent. But whereas like fir tree, pine tree, the tree base notes, um, you can almost smell like the wood of the tree. This, because it's mistletoe berries, um, it just smells almost like a leafy green scent. So a very, it's a very fresh type green scent, um, almost like ivy or something like that but mixed with like the richness of the berries almost makes it sweeter. I don't know what Christmas smooches is, but it's almost like a, a freshness too. There's almost something that kind of reminds me a little bit of like a fresh load of laundry or like, like if you did, yeah, if you did laundry and then you had like a mantle of like, I like fresh, um, like not like, yeah, like boughs of like holly, but like leafy green. So yeah, so that's under the mistletoe. Um, and that's it, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching my haul. I really am curious. Are you guys peppermint lovers? Are you peppermint lovers throughout the whole year? Do you only like peppermint in the winter time? Do you not like peppermint at all? Um, yeah, so let me know in the comments below. Also, if you guys have favorites from this collection, let me know. I'm very curious what your must-haves are. And maybe I missed out on some. Um, yeah, so that's it. I hope you're all having an awesome day. Bye, guys.